Today, we're talking Cover 3 Cloud. It was out, then it was in, then it was out, now it's back again. We'll talk about why, what's going on with it, how to break it down, how to understand it, and it's coming up right now. Hey everybody, welcome to Elite Athletes TV. I'm Mike Pulaski, former 11-year pro quarterback and quarterback's coach here at EliteAthletesTV.com. Today we're talking about Cover 3 Cloud. We've gone over 3 Sky, we've gone over 3 and Nickel Looks and 3 Match. And if you want any of those, I will put a card right up here so that you can go look at those coverages. I want to talk about 3 Cloud today. A lot of teams in college football are bringing it back. And there's a couple reasons for it. Before I get started, if you're new to the channel, if you haven't done it yet, make sure you subscribe and ring that bell. Get notified every time we have new stuff coming out. Give me a thumbs up, hit that like button down below, and leave me a comment. I'd love to hear from you. Any questions, give me a good one. I'll make you a video. 3 Cloud is what it sounds like. The C in cloud, because people in football love alliteration, stands for corner. So corner, three corner, the corner rolls to the flat. Usually when you rotate coverage, you're talking about where you're rotating it to. If you run three sky, the safety rotates down and becomes that flat defender. If you run three cloud, the corner rotates down and becomes that flat defender. We're going to take a look at a couple of video clips on it. We're going to take a look at my Tampa Bay Buccaneers playbook, and then I'll show you a diagram of 3Cloud right now, and we'll talk about why teams are doing it nowadays. Here you go, Tampa Bay Buccaneers playbook, and you can see up at the top, we've got 3Sky. When most people think of cover 3, they think of 3Sky. Very simply, as I just explained, the safety, strong safety in this case, is in the flat, and we're rotating to 3 deep. Cover 3, in case you don't know, is three deep in coverage. The three stands for three guys. Each one of them has a third deep. Underneath, you have everybody else in their standard zones. We're taking the hook to curl, hook to curl, and flat by the will linebacker. Cover three is a nice run support defense. You get the strong safety down. He can be on the edge of the box to help out. You can keep the will in the box. So you can get a seven-man box if you would like it. And the Sam comes as the fourth rusher in this odd front. Now, you can change this around a little bit, but you get more people inside the box to help support run. When we go to three cloud, we'll take a look right down here, you'll see the difference is the corner is now the roll flat defender and the safety is taking that high third. That's the only major change, as you can see, Although you do have the Sam backer now dropping out to take that hook to curl as well in this diagram. doesn't have to happen that way, but generally speaking, you're going to need somebody in that hook zone, and they're bringing the mic instead. So just one of the change-ups that you, that you see. Obviously, this was an NFL playbook. At the time, that was in vogue. Now let's talk about the strengths of 3Cloud. First and foremost... The strengths to me of three cloud are that you can jam a good receiver on the outside. You can reroute him, force him to change up his timing on his route and create problems for the quarterback by rerouting him. You can also be pretty strong against bubble screens. You got somebody coming out your way and quick flat routes because you have a corner who's already in the flat, doesn't have to roll to it, doesn't have to make a decision in terms of leverage. Secondly, just like cover three, you have three deep zones. You can see strong safety rolls over the top, free safety takes the middle, right corner drops into the deep third. A lot of teams, and that's why it's in vogue these days, are using this to disguise three match or to disguise from cover two to three cloud to give quarterbacks a different look. And so by doing this, they're making quarterbacks hold the ball for a beat longer maybe confusing them a little bit in terms of coverage and potentially getting them to throw into coverage that they wouldn't normally throw into. What are the problems with 3Cloud? Well, A, we talked about it. it's strong to the flat that you're rolling to, but it is weak to the flat, has the same weakness that Cover 3 has in the flat. As a quarterback, when you see single high safety, you're thinking, I've got flats that I can attack with high lows, with in and outs, with two-on-ones outside. And so you get the same weakness in the flat where that you are not rolling to, that you are rotating away from. So that's one weakness. Second weakness, because the strong safety isn't coming down and being an edge of box or overhang player, 
you're not as strong in run support. Having a corner on the outside as your flat defender means that your run support isn't nearly as strong as it is with your strong safety coming down. So you take away a box player, and you're not as strong in run support. Again, just like normal cover three, if you run four vert, it puts this free safety in a bind. And now he's moving away from this rotation. So backside receiver has to hold that bail corner. But as a quarterback, as you drop, if you look this safety onto this defender, keep his hips and shoulders turn as he rotates away, this should be a kill shot for you on the backside because the safety's already turned body language entirely away from it. That should be a good throw for you. Lastly, if you have a speed guy on the outside, you're rotating away. Even though it's bail coverage, you still have the go route on the outside. Now, in the NFL, all those dudes can run, not as likely. But in high school and college, you can get a mismatch out there with a single receiver if you can predict where that cloud is rolling to, where the rotation is going. And so if you get that, you put your speed guy on the outside, you can get the deep ball one-on-one -on -one with coverage rotating away from it. So he is out here on an island all by himself. So as I said, a lot of teams nowadays are playing three match, and they change it up by rotating to three cloud. Or a lot of teams want to play that cover two look because they take away the underneath stuff, and then they rotate into the three cloud and try to trap you into throwing something and still protecting those deep zones. If you understand three cloud better now, hit that like button, give me a thumbs up. Make sure if you haven't done it yet that you subscribe and ring that bell, get notified every time we have new stuff coming out, and leave me a comment down below. I would love to hear from you. It's an effective coverage. I don't think you can live in it. My high school team lived in it. Um, and you, you can't do that anymore like you could back in the day because teams are so effective at RPO game, at running the football inside, at power games, that you have to be able to use it to mix it up. But if you try to live in it, you're going to be in trouble, especially on that backside flat and versus four vert. So three cloud, that's it. A little quarterback training for you. Hopefully we improved your football skills, your knowledge of the game, made you a better player.